For AWS account monitoring, Oracle Cowsby Cloud Service can use either an IAM user to act as a dedicated service account or an IAM role. AWS recommends the use of roles as no access and secret keys are required and it's viewed as a more secure integration. This walkthrough will show the creation of an IAM role for a single or standalone AWS account or a target AWS account configured in cross-account logging. This IAM role will replace the functionality of the IAM user account to monitor your AWS instance. At this point in the configuration, it is assumed CloudTrail has already been enabled and that it's sending its logs to a local S3 bucket. Log in to your AWS console and select Services. Under Security, Identity and Compliance, select IAM. Navigate to Roles to create a new monitoring role. Note that this is different from a cross-account role. Then select another AWS account. This is so the Oracle CASB cloud service can assume this role to monitor the AWS account. You will be prompted for the account ID and the external ID. The account ID is the Oracle CASB cloud service account ID. The external ID is generated during the registration process. Enter the account ID for Oracle CASB Cloud Service. Open a new tab and log in to your Oracle CASB Cloud Service. From the dashboard screen, select Add an App and navigate to the Select an App Type screen. Select Amazon Web Services AWS and navigate to the Select an Instance screen. Name your AWS application instance and then navigate to the Select Monitoring Type screen. This is where you will select which mode you want to register your AWS instance into Oracle CASB Cloud Service. Here you will assign a pre-existing AWS policy to the IAM role. You can register your AWS account into Oracle CASB Cloud Service in one of two modes, Read Only and Read Write. In both modes, you'll baseline your AWS security controls in Oracle CASB Cloud Service. Any subsequent changes to the security controls in AWS will generate an alert in Oracle CASB Cloud Service. In Read Write mode, Oracle CASB Cloud Service can revert those changes back to the baseline settings, keeping your AWS instance in compliance. However, in read-write mode, AWS requires Oracle CASB Cloud Service to have administrator access to make these changes directly back into your AWS account. Read-only mode requires the read-only access policy. If you want read-only permissions on this IAM role, Select Monitor Only. If you want to revert security control changes back to the baseline automatically and your security policies allow assigning the administrator access policy to this role, select Monitor and Push Controls. Navigate to the Select Security Control screen. Change the authentication type to IAM User Role and copy the external ID. Switch back to the tab with your AWS account and enter the external ID. Navigate to the Attach Policy screen from where you can choose policies to attach to your new role. If you chose Monitor and Push Controls, you must choose Administrator Access. If you selected Monitor Only, enter Read Only Access in the filter, scroll to the bottom and select the policy. Give the role a name and then create the role. Then select the role you just created. The first line is the role ARN, which is required to complete the registration in Oracle CASB Cloud Service. Take a copy of this as it will be required later. 
Towards the bottom of the page, select Trust Relationship. Under Trusted Entities is the account number of Oracle CASB Cloud Service. Under Conditions, you'll see the external ID that was generated by Oracle CASB Cloud Service. Select Edit Trust Relationship. If the Oracle CASB Cloud Service tenant times out, or you need to restart the AWS registration process, when you click to add the AWS application, the process will generate a new external ID. You'll need to replace the value in the trust relationship with the most current one to match Oracle CASB Cloud Service. Switch to the Oracle CASB Cloud Service tab and enter the role ARN you copied earlier. And then test the credentials. If all of the configurations are correct, you'll be informed that the credentials are valid. Submit your action and you'll be notified that AWS is going through its first data ingestion in your Oracle CASB Cloud Service tenant. Navigate back to the dashboard and you'll observe that this application is going through initial data ingestion. Congratulations! You have successfully registered AWS into Oracle CASB Cloud Service with an IAM role. Thank you for watching.